Hey, what's up guys? I know it's been a long time since I've loaded a video, but uh been some personal stuff going on and uh today we're gonna take a I'm trying to change out one of my paddle shifters. And this is the one I just got out. Uh, I can tell it's it broke on one of the corners on one of the hinges. I uh, went to the dealership, picked up another one, uh, about 27 bucks altogether at your local dealership for these things. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to do a little walkthrough with you because when I went online to look at how to get this out, the videos were kind of a little vague. You know, they show you how to take out the airbag a little bit, but the trick is getting the airbag out. And I'm going to show you a little more closely and point to the stuff. So that if you have to change your paddle shifter or get into your airbag to replace maybe your, you know, down in, down here to get your steering wheel off to change out the, you know, the clock or something like that. But uh, what we're doing today, we're not even touching the clock. We're not taking the steering wheel off. So let me get started here. I'm going to try to show you. I know I've got the sun shining right at me here on this. So I'm going to try to not have the sun blind the video here, but I'm going to switch the camera around here and I'm going to point out a couple things about how to get this uh, airbag out because there's a couple of wires on either side so let me switch the camera around here okay so what I got here as you can see I've got the the airbag right here oops let me not flip video on you sorry about that got the airbag right here and of course it fits in here and the airbag has let's look on the back here it's got these two little nubs to stick out with the springs on them and those slide into these holes respectively and you see there's a wire that's got a kind of a green shade to it and on the back of your steering column back here in the back as you can tell my wheels upside down turn your wheel upside down for this uh, sorry about that forgot to mention that so you turn your wheel upside down so you can get to these holes that are in the back and you'll fill them with your fingers and if you take your phone or whatever and look back there there's a little round hole and a slit so you just want to take your screwdriver and make sure you got a, a short thin screwdriver this is what I was using and it's thin enough but it's about maybe a half inch too long so if you can get a little shorter one of these it'd work a lot better I was able to get to these with uh, with this one and you go in there and you stick the screwdriver in that hole and what you're trying to do is you're going to end up right in this space right here coming in from that hole and at the top of this is the top of this wire and you're going to want to grab it from this side and push it this way towards the center of the steering wheel and as you do that let me see here I'll push it on this side just to show you you'll see that whoops that wire is going to move over to that side. That's going to undo the little nub from inside there and pop it out. Now, if you got two of these screwdrivers and you can get them both in there at the same time and push them to the uh, push them to the outside, like come in like this from behind and push that way towards the center with both of them, this should pop right out its own. Like I said, it's got springs on those little nubs as you saw earlier, and it'll jump out pop out so you don't really don't have to grab onto this so you do that with both of the holes until you pop this loose and then when you get this out you can just hang this here it's not going to hurt anything having that there you don't have to disconnect your battery because we're not we're not touching anything to do with the clock or anything else and once you get this out of the way of course <coughs> you're going to have your trim that's on here your trim is going to still be attached what you can do is as you can see on this one right here, the back of this, it's got these little balls on there. Those slide in. That's a piece of rubber back there. And they just kind of push in and then lock in. What you're going to do is, first off, that's going to stay in. And the last part that you're going to take out is this part right here. All right, so what you're going to do is just kind of pry up this edge a little bit. This will pop up and you can get a hold of this. This just works, works its way out and you'll grab that. And do the same to the other side over here. You can just kind of grab onto this and, and pull it up. And like I said, that last part up here at the top will be the last part you can pull, pull loose. Uh, right here, if you can see right here inside of each one of these, there's a little socket. 
before you pull this completely off or before you try to pull this piece off you just reach inside there and grab this it's going to be right inside here and plugged in just pull them loose there's no hooks or anything here it pulled right out of each side each side will have one you just pull it pull it loose and then you can pull up on the trim and it'll pop loose and it just comes right out of the inside of here pretty darn easy like I said this last part you'll think you're about to break something but pull it up and pull it towards you a little bit and keep pulling if you have like a plastic uh, uh, tool or something like that that you can get under here and get it, give it a little pry that'll help you like I said it's rubber back there and it's got a pretty good grip to it and that whole piece will pop out so then you got your trim popped out set that aside and now that we're in here, like I said, we're, you can get to the screws. These little screws right here are for your paddle shifters. Uh, they are a star bit. I was lucky enough that my little screwdriver blade fits right inside there and they're not very snug. Just push on it a little bit while you're turning, uh, turning this thing and they, they pop right loose and you unscrew it. And you'll notice a little wire here that goes through that hooks into your uh, paddle shifter and it does have like a little clip uh, once you get out you'll be able to like look around the, to the side here and you'll you can see the clip to unclip it from the uh, paddle shifter uh, put it back same way and on one thing I want you to know is when you get a new one of these it comes with a little extension that sticks out probably let's see here I can get a good shot of this Right off of this piece right here, there's another extension that sticks out about this far, and it screws on to this hole right here, this copper hole. So when you get your new one, you'll see what I'm talking about. And you'll have to unscrew that and put it on onto the new one. Uh, very simple there. And then uh, once you get your wire hooked up to your to it, put it back in the slot. Uh, I'm at the point where I'm going to be putting the screw back in here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, tighten that up and I'll be complete with my job here and we'll take and reverse this process. But again, the major point is trying to find this wire when you're coming to the back. Your screwdriver is going to hit right in here. So you want to try to get your blade to this side over here and then pry it towards the center as I was saying. Once you do that, these things just pop right out. A uh, little bit of fiddling, you'll get it. Um, Right now, I'm in a hundred and something plus degree heat, so we're going to move on here, and I'll start reversing the process, and then uh, once I get the screw screwed in, and I'll show you how to put this stuff right back together again. Okay, so I've got the top part in, and remember what I said, when you put it back on, it goes down at an angle, because you have this part right here, so you're, you're pushing on this, those pieces, until it just pops right in. It'll go in pretty darn easy. And then when you come down, you're going to work these part back into the spots if I can do it one-handed here we'll show you what's going on uh. all right guys so got the airbag back in and uh, just a couple things I wanted to go over with you before that. and a reminder that um, the two little clips that you saw inside there one was white one was uh, black with a little red insert in it. those don't forget to clip those back into the sockets I showed you inside there otherwise your cruise control and your you know these controls right here won't work and I think in the video I actually said something about those clips were for the uh, shifter pedals uh, yeah not <laughs> so disregard that um, the little clips actually operate your your controls here and right here so don't forget those clips before you get this airbag back on or otherwise you'll have to flip your wheel back around and fish through those holes again to get the airbag back off and you don't want to go through that a second time so don't forget to do that um, as you see all the trims back on and I just was kind of making sure that you know it's clipped in at every angle I looked up here to make sure my bag was back in and everything so all back together um, the brand new uh, shifter paddle that's on the side very nice got a very short throw to it which I'm kind of regretting not getting the other the other one 
and just putting a brand new one in here too because this is a little bit more sloppy not bad you know probably last me out through the through the rest of this year or anything i think once we hit the cooler weather i'll probably end up changing out this other one you know going through it twice yeah, that's what i do sometimes you know you can't can't avoid it I'm trying to save some money on this but that one's all right so but i just want to say i appreciate you guys uh hanging with me that that are still subscribed i know it's been um been a while since i've done some stuff and uh i've got so yeah like i said i've got some other stuff in in uh in store for you guys um i've got some uh sound deadener for the trunk of my car i'm gonna be installing uh you know i got that exhaust system that's kind of a little loud and everything I like to keep all that sound out of the trunk um, as much as possible so i can enjoy my stereo so that's going to be coming up in a video of me doing some install or at least you know checking it out and seeing laying out the pad stuff that see how i want it to go so i've got that and then i've also got a <laughs> sorry about that somebody's uh throwing their garbage away behind me and banging around back there so i've also got the uh, water bottle relocation kit from fast tech uh, you can go log on their site fasttech.com take a look at it for the fit chain. and what that does you end up taking your stock water bottle out of the location it's in and they give you a scoop and another small water bottle to take its place uh, so it gets air and drives the air right up where that other water bottle was uh, look for that in another video and also uh, I bought some of that hydro drip film I've been watching some videos online and uh, decided to give it a try uh, so look for that video too I'll be trying to hydro dip a few items that I have under my hood and I guess that's about it I just want to say I appreciate all those people that stuck with me and like subscribe again I'm back peace out Rawr, <laughs>